Welcome back to Boo Babies. The po- I'm not going to do that, don't worry. The podcasting journey where we try and find the best money. Join the best money. Run at it. Best money. The best we- beer money can buy. I'm not going to do it. One take only, baby. One take Billy, that's what they call me. Yeah, that is. I'm your host today. My name's Billy. I like a lot of beers. As always, I'm joined with Declan. Hey, how's it going? I don't like a lot of beer. And Will. Or any beer. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, my name's Will and I like some beers. And it's so good to be back What's in wrong the with your pod voice? cave. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have lost my voice, um, but uh, podcasting will not wait okay my commitment to this podcast is so great that i will make the listeners endure my awful raspy voice it sounds so, kind of cool yeah well if 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 we get good numbers i'll keep it okay can the thumb t- uh thumb tag or whatever the youtube videos just be like a photo of one piece or something because he's got the pirate hat ah uh, yeah took me away. yeah uh, can we yeah. do that like yeah. sure yeah. Speaking do we want to talk like, about this after no i want to talk about that's it right now um I'm going to take this off because my eye, my eyebrow came with it. Is, can you see? Better, I, can you see better out of that? I honestly there? couldn't see you at all, Declan. No, but just, can you see better out of this one now? You look a little <laughs> bit more like a pirate than me, Declan, and you're literally not wearing anything yeah. that isn't normal. Yeah. All right, so I brought a beer today, and there is a reason we've got pirate gear, and I, I got this authentic hat from eBay. Um, ninety nine dollars. It's good. It's good. Good quality. Um, I brought. A pirate-themed beer today, ladies and gentlemen, and it's by Black Hop, and it's called the Caribbean Haze. Are you excited? Yep. I am excited. I'm excited to go back to Black Hop, Billy. This is the second Black Hop that you've bought. Last time you uh you you brought us in the Goat. It was. Oh and yeah. The heavy duty, and we didn't. The greatest of all time. Didn't really do much. We didn't love it too much, but I th- these guys do a slew of beers, and I'm very excited for this one. Um, I did grab it, and I must quote when I was going to get it out by the... Um, well, I was checking it out, and the, the guy at the checkout said, Oh, I've never seen this before. And he looks at it, and he goes, 7.8%. I know what I'm drinking after work. <laughs> I had no idea at that point. And then, sorry guys, but this may be... A very hard to drink alcoholic beverage, but I'll let you know why soon. This is a, can you this pop is a strong one. So, Jack, you start pouring them. Um, and yeah, Billy, lay oh, it on it. Looks cool. So, I just need to sign into my oh, iPad really quickly. Wow. Why? What's wrong? It, it looks, looks thick. It looks like it's cut with fruit juice. Like, it's just, it looks super hazy. So, this is the Caribbean Haze by Black Hop. Um, it was a rich. Over the second one, or just. Uh, yeah, go for it. Open that one. So, this was a collaboration between Mount Gay Rum and, obviously, Black Hop. Yeah. Um, so, this, they they made this beer. So, it's, it's basically, it's meant to be, like, spiced with citrus, pineapple, mango, but it's infused with Mount Gay Black Barrel Rum. So... Mount Gay, they do a lot of, well, they do, do a few um, rums, and I'm like, it's, I just thought it was very interesting. Honestly, the album art is what first got me. I'm like, what the hell, what the hell is going on here? And then I saw on the can that it was infused with rum. I'm like, first of all, Declan loves rum. Oh, bloody oath, I do. I really do like my rum. Loves rum, doesn't like beer, mm. but maybe this is their kind of like, the sweet middle ground where you can maybe be I've, happy for once. I've just had a little sip and Declan, uh, don't build it up as too rummy in your mind, but uh, go ahead and have a taste. I just, continue, Billy, while uh, he has uh, a look, taste. Uh, well, that's pretty much it's all my research for these guys. Other than... Look, I swear I just got like a giant chunk of pineapple or something off the bottom. Well, probably, man. Like, I don't know. I don't know what the rules and regulations are in Barbados. I'm trying to wrap my head around that. I'm not sure if I love it or I hate it. Really? Hmm. I just, I just, I just love how the it's 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 different. It's definitely. Di- I've never had a beer like you, it. You before. got the guys from Black Hops, and then they go and try and mix it with a rum from these guys. So don't count. Don't. This is this is from Wikipedia because from their website, I couldn't. I didn't get where their location was. This is Mount Gay Rum, um, but it looks like they're from Barbados. And if that is not right, I am so sorry. But how you guys gotten... Well, the can says um, brewed and packed by Black Hops in Pine Ridge, um, Queensland. Yeah, but 
He's trying to figure out where the, the rum, rum from. It's the infused rum came from. By that. And I wonder how the rum infusion works because... Um, Do you get I, a little bit of coconut in? Because apparently the rum they well, infused it with is meant to be... Have like... Um, it's supposed to be like melon. It's supposed to be like a coconut infused It says rum. on the back here, spiced with citrus, pineapple, mango, and coconut infused Mount Gay Black Barrel Rum. So... That's pretty cool. Um, That's wonder, pretty uh, much what I just said. Yeah, least. I know. No, my research came from bit bit not... more bit more succinct from this other table. But um, what I was going to say was um, I've been uh, following Buttons Brewing. Um, Never heard of them. They just got um, what from Alveston? They got Tasmania. Yeah, those guys love those guys. <laughs> they, I didn't get to go down. They um sorry, Declan. They got uh, some old. Gosh, now I've forgotten. I'm pretty sure they were wine barrels. So they you use the bat so they pump the beer through the barrel so they pick up those flavours and stuff. Um so I'm wondering if that's the infusion process, because you know, some I can't I'm, that, I, that's a good point. So you like, think they're brewing the beer in barrels. Like rum that, barrels. But rum used to be in. Mm. Could be. Because that's what they do with um like I know that I highly doubt it, but maybe. Heli, rum Heli barrels is, are tiny. But Helia's Road in um Helios Road in Burnie, Been they there. yeah they they use old old barrels. I think they're old bourbon um, barrels or something. I'm don't also they? pretty sure um, Jamison have a special run of um, their uh, whiskies and stuff that are infused with um, beers and mm. stuff like that as well. So yeah, look, it's weird. These barrels they they originally might have sherry in them, then they go to whiskey, then they go to gin, and then. Oh, I love the recycling. Mm. If only there was a way we could have like got to the bottom of how this beer came to be. Maybe in podcast after dark, if you pay for um, <laughs> what? our podcast only fans. Yeah, that's I, it. Podcast only fans. I cannot get over the how color of this beer. It, is it looks so thick, awesome. It like, kind of reminds me, like if it didn't have the head, it would sort of look like a cocktail. Like yeah, like it look, it honestly looks like a real thick like pineapple juice. They've or something. left the pulp in the pineapple mm, juice, though. Yeah, but I I'm actually very surprised with the because uh, it says hazy, but then it says cut with rum. I'm like, oh, what am I getting into? And then every time I see black hops, I'm like, wait, is it a black beer or is it by black hops? This is surprisingly fruity, refreshing, and could you imagine drinking this in the Caribbean? Well, I think because um, it says on the can here, rum soaked. So that's really making me think that they sort of they ran the beer through like a rum barrel or something. Mm. Maybe. Um, because it's not aggressively rummy. Like I'm not, I'm not getting it. To me, this just tastes like a beer. Um I'm not like it. It a tastes tasty beer. Yeah, it's it's fruity and it's it tastes like a um, like a sort of like a, a tropical pale ale sort of thing, but like a intense tropical. And it pale doesn't ale. taste like. Oh, I personally, I always usually think that most of these fruity beers taste like rotten fruit, like off fruit. Yeah. But I think this is just good. Yeah. All right, guys. I want you. I want you to close your eyes, both of you. Clear your mind. You're not doing. I said two things. All right, you can't okay. do one of them. Come on, guys. Cl- Close come, your eyes. Grab your glass. But can I open my eyes? No. This is the order I chose. <laughs> this is Go so with dangerous. It. If we do not the spill equipment. it on the equipment. And take a sip. Declan's already one one head is one step ahead of me. And just think. Mm. Ah. The Caribbean. Never been. Wouldn't know what it's like. White yeah, sands. But, blue. but now you know. That's what it's like. It's blue. like drinking this all the time. Some blue ass water. And then, like, oh, was, is that a hit of rum? No. It's no, just, you're right. You're, you're absolutely right. There is. I can't get the association of rum. I thought it had something to do with the alcohol content. Maybe that is spiked. Like, yeah, it is. This, you should have got this for the strong beer special. Yep. Because that, that would have been um, that would have been good. Um, this, but I think most of the beers we got were actually stronger than this in the end. But but for a normal beer, that is incredibly strong. Oh, for an Australian Actually, I don't, beer. I don't think mine was. Yeah, I'm sorry. For for because we don't know how to make strong beers in Australia. We I know um, how to tax though. So mm. yeah, this if you is, want to learn more about that, you should visit the uh, the beer conspiracy episode, and you can learn all about how Australia used to be taxed because it has recently changed. Interesting timing, um, but I'll talk about that later. Is it shameful to plug your own stuff on your stuff? 
No, well, if if people enjoy this episode and if they feel like they've gotten something out of it, then it, it would be remiss of us not to remind them that there is more great content out there that they can follow up with. You're right, I'm sorry, I should leave. Yeah, you should so shut right, up. Right here. So, as I was saying, this is a hazy content. IIPA, um, and that's something I've been noticing more particularly when I've been looking, like we've started actively searching out stronger beers. Um is the multiple eyes, and now I have done no research, but I would love to know what that means, because I know that the rhino, whatever, which is like the strongest beer in Australia, is like eighteen percent. It's like a I I I I I P A. Yeah. How much does that cost a can? Like fifty bucks? I think it's like seventeen dollars a can. Jesus, isn't it? Can we I, get it? I I I I P A. Yeah. Well, it's like Indian 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 Indian, Indian yeah. Pale Ale. There's a place in Devonport, I'm pretty sure, that sells it. So we'll so have to. How many eyes is this? Yeah. I had no idea. This is two. This is an IIPA. All the research I did, I should have just read the can. There's so much more information yeah, on this it. can. I um, I I saw you like reading from your notes, and I'm like, why do you even? Why did you just transcribe the label? Are you just looking at a picture of the label on your iPad? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I fucking should have fucking been, <laughs> yeah. hey. And that's, and that's why I said... That's what I don't... That's my, what I, I should just read the can. Mine that's, was more succinct because I just read the label. <laughs> fuck uh, it. Anyway, I'm... But, but I'm hey, kind of hey, enjoying it. Hey, hey, hey. hey. He brought a pirate hat. I fucking love that hat. He brought a hat. That is, that is an amazing hat. I think that should be a staple. Johnny Depp signed it himself. It's, oh. um, it's on the inside. Billy, there. when that's the fuck... I just noticed that your fucking plastic bag is in the shot. That's not uh. mine. I don't have plastic bags, man. Why the fuck would you have a plastic bag? I wonder how many of the episodes it's in. All of them. I have a That's rough. Anyway, let's cut a list. Anyway, look, honestly, back to this beer. I'm loving it. It's like a, it's like a fruit tingle in my mouth. I think this is... Because that's normally where I, I'd normally put them in my mouth. This know, is... a normal spot for a fruit tingle. This is fun. This is fruity. This is... It's different... But it's not like scary. It's just it's a nice beer. This is good. This I'm is, really liking this. It's got to be a sneaky beer though, because it's incredibly strong. It doesn't taste that strong, and it doesn't have that alcoholic. You keep saying incredibly, but it's strong. Like it's definitely strong, but it's not like crazy strong. And I think that's probably where like they've used sort of that the rummy fruity flavors or whatever to sort of mask that. And I think. Yeah. You are right. I yeah. think it would sneak up on you. I yeah. think you'd, you'd get like a like a sneaky pirate. You'd, I'm you'd, the captain now. You'd get like I reckon you'd get three or four of these in before you realize what you'd done. Yeah, you're like, oh, well, we're in for a good time, <laughs> yeah. boys. Buckle up, me hearties. Uh, what, Row, what, ho, what, ho, hey. and a bottle of this. <laughs> yeah, and a, and a bottle <laughs> and a can of, of this. Black Black can of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. What a wild ride we've just been on. Mm. And I feel like we're just, just about to go to bed. Mm. Oh. Well, let's speak of putting it to bed. Hey, I can do segues too, bitch. Yeah, Billy, can you wrap it up for me? All right. Um, Will, out of out of six, how many of these bad boy um, Carib- Caribbean cruises would you drink? I really... Caribbean cruises? <laughs> I think... <laughs> I think I... Like, really, to judge this, I feel like I should have drank more. I think... Arr, finish it. I think um, no, don't finish in one go. I think it's it's really tasty, and it's got a strong hook. That fruity flavor is dr- like it's drawing me in, and I'm like I'm enjoying drinking this. I think your I think your voice has gotten a bit better. I think it's I think cleaned so. it's, it up a bit. It, it's got healing properties. Um, I think um, oh the the alcohol has just numbed my throat. Um, but I think that. I think that this is nice. If I if I just got like got poured a glass of this, I'd I'd have it again, um, and probably not realize sort of where I was headed, but um, which is to obviously to Davy Jones Locker. Mm. Oh, um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this. I think I'd uh, I don't know. I want to say five, but I if I drink, if I had five, I'd I'd be in trouble. But anyway. Fuck it. I think I'm going to say five. Have another sip. I think your voice um, is going again. <laughs> so I'll go next. Um, I'm not going to lie. Most of these beers that we do on this podcast, I have one of them and never think about them again. But this one, I'm like, I would actually probably go out and buy this because I'm actually really enjoying it. Like, 
I'm not sure if it's because we shot a couple of these today mm. or um, that it's actually a really good beer, but mm. I'm actually going to give it like a three and a half. Holy maybe, Holy maybe I would damn. I would probably go four. Like, like oh, I again, like, like I'm glad you're loving it, but it's definitely a psychological thing um, rum. It's just it is actually really nice, and I know it's just got the right flavors for me. I think, um, but I also I reckon it's not a cheap beer either. <laughs> Um, I didn't, I didn't, uh, the guys, he's like, do you want to pay with a card or cash? I'm like, card, because I don't want to know how much it is. And he's like, do you want your receipt? No receipt. No receipt, please. <laughs> no receipt. I'm surprised my card even worked. I don't want any evidence of this. Yeah. Um, but I would, yeah, I would definitely actually. Drink. What are you going to, what are you going to settle on? I'll go, fuck it, I'll go four. That's a, that's a, wow. that, that's a podcast first. That is wow. a podcast first. That, that is, that is a high score. Um. Yeah. Because I don't like beer at all, but this is doing something to me. I don't, I'm feeling feelings I've never felt before. Um, That's welcome to the Caribbean. And we I would, are the pirates. I would, I would actually probably drink this again. Like, go out of my way to buy it. Pirates of the Caribbean. Anyway, Billy, what would you drink? <laughs> pirates of the Caribbean. Like, I didn't actually like it that much, so maybe one. Okay. Maybe one. Yeah. No, nah, fuck no. I would have, I would have six of these hands down. And, and then I would swash, swashbuckle, whatever that means, to get another six. You'd be partying hard. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Six out of six. This is this was a very easy drinking beer, but it was fruity. It felt like it was doing good stuff to my body. Like I was getting my vitamin C <laughs> and my vitamin P. Because <laughs> pirates need their vitamin P. Everyone knows that. Is the P for party? P for party, maybe. Pirates <laughs> like to party. Who knows? Don't judge. Anyway, I'm going to give it a six. Everyone knew that. I'd just like to say a thank you to all our sponsors. Zero at, of them. At Black Zero, Ops. Yeah, at Black Ops. Um, if you're listening, uh, don't listen to the episode we reviewed your last beer. Um, they probably won't listen to this one either. Even, just in case. This might go viral. Go to our website. You know what it is. Go our to webs- our social medias. Yeah. You know what it is. And um, as always, um, thank you for joining us. I'm Billy. and um, <laughs> I'm Billy? I'm I'm Billy, and yo ho ho, by the rum, Declan. Uh, yep, see ya, love you, bye. Yeah, it's been real, bye. We really, are we out of time? Stop it, because it might just erase the whole thing. <laughs>